NFL free agency is underway, and it is time to give out early grades for each and every single team. Now look, we filmed this Monday evening, so there might be a move or two not factored in. If so, bump your team up a letter grade. I'm factoring in trades, but we're grading each and every single team. Alphabetical order, starting with the Arizona Cardinals, who have gotten worse. Uh, you lost Chase Edmonds, kept James Conner. Cool, that's fine. You, you added Jeff Gladney. You lost Chandler Jones and Jordan Hicks, which is a whatever, Christian Kirk. You're a worse team right now. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Not everyone can get better. It's not how the NFL works. But Arizona, they got worse. So I am giving them a D so far. But that is not the lowest grade I've given out. Instead, the Atlanta Falcons. They done messed up. Let's call it what it is. You lose your best linebacker. You lose your only other receiver that's decent on the roster in Russell Gage. You add Casey here, which I love, but you lost Matt Ryan. And your, your, your organizational plan as of two weeks ago was winning with Matt Ryan. That was your plan last year, and this year you had agreed to redo his deal. You never finalized it because you wanted to go get Deshaun Watson. You messed it up, and now you're out of QB as well. The Falcons are the early favorite to get the number one overall pick next year. That's bad. I'm flunking them. Time to be nice. The Baltimore Ravens. Uh, you do lose your best, your center and Bradley Bowes, and that's a red flag. I want some more cornerback help, but Marcus Williams... Morgan Moses and Michael Pierce were all pretty damn good deals by the Baltimore Ravens. I love the Moses one in particular. I'm giving them an A-. minus. Potentially controversial here, but I'm going to give the Bills an A. I actually am okay with the Vaughn Miller contract. It's not nearly as big as what might be said out there. I like their defensive line additions. Uh, Daquan Jones, Tim Settle to help replace Star Latule and Harrison Phillips. Case Keenum's the new backup, cool. Roger Saffold's a help along the offense line. I actually love the O.J. Howard pickup, too. You cut Cole Beasley. Cornerback, two. That's your big area of concern. That's kind of it for Buffalo in, uh, in terms of their team needs. So I'm giving them an A on this one. Carolina Panthers, kind of a weird fit. I, I hate losing Hassan Reddick. You broke the bank a little bit for Dante Jackson. I love the Bradley Bowes sign. That's one of my top 10 so far. Super cheap for starting center. Xavier Woods is a bit of an overpay. Austin Corbett helps. Left tackle QB, though. And Edge. What's your plan there? Those are like three of the most important positions that you are at best average at right now. All right, the Chicago Bears. Yikes. Uh, you had the Larry Ojanobi deal. Flunked his physical. That doesn't count. You pivot to... Justin Jones, who's nothing special. You, you lose Allen Robinson, and you get Byron Pringle, and you get EQ St. Brown. Swap out James Daniels for Lucas Patrick. I thought, that, I thought that was a downgrade, to be honest. The Bears are taking losses right now. Set themselves up for the future. So it's not supposed to be a great free agency for Chicago, but I'm not great on a curve. They get a D. All right, here's what I want you guys to do. Shout out your favorite team in the comments section and then give them a grade for their free agency. This might take a bit of time to write out the full team name in the grade. So if the ad break plays here on YouTube, take advantage of it. While the ad plays, take your time, head down to the pinned comment, give me your team and the grade for them so far in free agency. The Cincinnati Bengals, who also just finally cut Trey Waynes, thank goodness, the big need was offensive line, right? Well, you've got a new right guard, a new center, and a new right tackle. That's three starters for you. Is it like a full-fledged Chiefs rebuild of the O-line? Eh, we got to wait and see. Probably not. But it is better. So Collins, the nice pickup. I love the Kappa deal. I'm looking for a, another corner. If they could get Stephon Gilmore. Oh, my God. What a move that would be here. As of right now, he's still a free agent. The Cleveland Browns are next up here. I am factoring in trades. That is why the Browns get an A. You have lost J.C. Trevor, which I kind of hate. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that move, but you have upgraded a QB. I'm only focused on off-field stuff. If you don't like Deshaun because of the, the off-field, I get it, but I'm focused in on the NFL football side of here. It's chat sports after all. Amari Cooper as well. You need an edge, yes, but Des Deshaun and Cooper, 
those two guys, namely Deshaun, make you a legit Super Bowl threat. And frankly, to only give up three firsts, it's not that bad of a deal. Deshaun's a franchise guy. You should feel good about him. I hated the contract they gave him. He just chased the money, but it's a win for the Browns in the end. All right, the Dallas Cowboys, not good. Dante Fowler and James Washington, your big sexy pickups so far. Connor Williams, Randy Gregory, Lyle Collins, also gone. And you re-signed Malik Hooker and, and Noah Brown and Gallup and Cool, whatever. You haven't gotten any better. That's a bad grade. I give them a D plus. The Cowboys, they just they don't do well in free agency. The Denver Broncos here. <laughs> How about oh, I forgot to mention Amari Cooper, of course, also gone for the Cowboys, right? I want to mention the free agent guys. Uh, you get Russell Wilson, DJ Jones, and Randy Gregory. That's awesome. Now, you still want a right tackle, maybe another corner with some of your top guys free agents, but I think Denver, in terms of just the overall offseason has been one of, if not the biggest winner so far. You have your franchise QB. Yes, the AFC is loaded. You're not going to find many orgs who are down to tank for five years and until the good QBs leave. Like That's just not how it operates. So for Denver being aggressive, I like it quite a bit. The Lions, okay? C is what I'm giving them here because it's just kind of average. Like I like the DJ Shark pickup. I'm not sad about losing guys like Trey Flowers or Jalen Reeves, maybe, and that's, that's fine with me. You kept Charles Harris, cool, and Josh Reynolds and Tracy Walker, but you didn't really get that much better overall. So it's fine. It is a longer-term rebuild for Detroit. That's not the end of the world in the end. If you haven't already, go follow us at rumble.com slash NFL Daily. We've got Rumble or NFL Daily after hours today, Monday, live on Rumble. And we've got exclusive content for you guys up there, plus some uncensored stuff. So if I drop the F bomb, YouTube doesn't get mad at me. Go support us at that video platform so we can dominate just like we are on YouTube. It's rumble.com slash NFL Daily. The Packers, I don't know what to do with them. Like, seriously, this is tough. They're a big addition outside free agent was Pat O'Donnell. They lost, though, Devontae Adams, and that one hurt. For a while, it seemed like the addition of Aaron Rodgers of keeping him was going to make them a big-time winner. And they kept Devontae Campbell and Rasul Douglas. But you lose two starters on the O-line and Zadarius Smith and Adams? That hurts. So I think that's kind of just average for Green Bay. It's still early. Things can change, but I don't love it at this point. Houston Texans, okay, uh, I think you lost two good players in Justin Reed, Jacob Martin. You had A.J. Can, Jalen Reeves, Maven. You didn't trade away um, uh, Laramie Tunsil, so that's good, but you rolled it back on a four-win team kind of, sort of. Okay, it is what it is, by the way. Like, you know, you've, you've been able to, uh, to get nice picks back for Deshaun Watson. That, that's a win, but, eh, you know, it just no one wants to play in Houston. Colts. They got bumped up once they traded for Matt Ryan. Yannick Ngakwe, or excuse me, Yannick Ngakwe is there. I'm actually okay with that move. I don't trust Brandon Faison as their only other corner. I want to get one more guy. They need offensive line help still too, but the Colts, you got a QB that can win you games, but much more than Carson Wentz. Is he closer to Phillip Rivers? Yeah, of course, but that's not the worst thing in the world after all. Jacksonville, they're tough, man. Like, they spent all of the money. They threw money at Brandon Scherf, Darius Williams, Evan Ingram, Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, uh, Foye Olakon, uh, Foley Fadakati. They spent all of the money this year in free agency, and they got better. But I hate the Zay Jones, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram deals. I like the offensive line ones. I like most of the defensive ones. So it's good, but I thought it would have been better better for the amount of money that they've spent. The Chiefs, who did lose Travarius Ward, by the way, but nobody else really of note, have upgraded at receiver and maybe safety, because I love the Justin Fields. Look, Matthew's gone. That's He's not going to come back to KC, but Justin Reed as your pivot is actually kind of good from that standpoint. So Chiefs are not done yet, but I like what they've done so far. They are aggressive like they need to be. We're not done yet. Still got like half the teams left or so. 
Who is the biggest NFL free agency winner? And again, veteran trades if you want. Let me know in the comments section right now. The Raiders getting an A- from me. I like getting Chandler Jones. It's a good pickup there. Anthony Averett, too. Offensive line is the only thing this team doesn't have right now that would make me give it an A or even an A+. Plus. But they're as good as or if not better at edge, and they've upgraded at corner in the process. And plus, I love the Devontae Adams trade. You need a, you need a number one team. You need a, you've needed a number one guy for years in Vegas. You tried Henry Ruggs, Antonio Brown. Uh, you tried to get Brian Edwards' guy. Now Devontae Adams is your number one guy. A first and a second, that was it. I love it for Vegas. My favorite team so far, the Los Angeles Chargers. Talk about overhauling your defense. Khalil Mack on a steal, all right? There's a second and a sixth. What a move. I hate that for the Bears, but they're rebuilding, so whatever. Sebastian Jose is going to be a great fit in L.A. J.C. Jackson, awesome corner pickup. Right tackle, that is your area of concern. But I think the Chargers and the Broncos, ironically both in the AFC West, are your two biggest winners so far in free agency and slash the offseason. The Rams. You add Allen Robinson, swap out Robert Woods. Okay, you paid biggish money to Joseph Noteboom, which I don't like. You lost Vaughn Miller, Darius Williams. You knew you were going to lose those guys. I like being aggressive after Allen Robinson, but and you also got Matthew Stafford at a cheaper deal short term. Eh, just okay there. The Dolphins, who they, they, they get an A if, if, if they get Teron Armstead here. Two backs. Fills that need. Chase Edmonds or Heem Mostert. Love that duo. I actually like Connor Williams more than most Cowboys fans. Cedric Wilson. And you've lost really nobody of note. Uh, you kept Emmanuel Ogba too. So the Dolphins are better on paper. Will that lead to more wins? We'll wait and see. If you want nonstop coverage of everything going on around the NFL this offseason, then subscribe. YouTube.com slash chat sports T. V. That link is below. Hit that big red button and join us. Minnesota. Okay. You kind of kick the can down the road here with Kirk Cousins in the end. Um, so that's fine. I like Jordan Hicks. You kind of swapped out defensive linemen and a backup offensive guards. It's been kind of an, an average offense. That's what a C is, average. Producer Jack wanted an F, but he's been so mad over New England I wanted to be a little bit nicer because they did re-sign Trent Brown and Devin McCourty and James White, and that's all fine and dandy there. But you lost Shaq Mason, which was bad. You got Mac Wilson for Chase Winovich, which, okay, whatever. That was not, you know, the, the biggest deal in the world. Like, that's kind of, you know, back-end rotation, guys. Cool. Call it a split there. You got worse. Losing J.C. Jackson and Shaq Mason, I don't understand that. And before you say, oh, Bill Belichick. Cool. He makes plenty of mistakes. He just likes the volume side, which is smart, by the way. All right, the Saints have swapped out Marcus May for Marcus Williams and also paid surprisingly big money to Jameis Winston. So, okay. It's below average to me. The Giants, who we knew were not going to be aggressive, but still no curves, no free grades here. Um, I like Mark Lewinsky signing. Everything else, even the guys you've lost, eh, pretty meh overall. Who do you think is the biggest NFL free agency loser so far? You can be mean in the comment section. That is okay. Let me know in the comment section right now. The Jets, I actually love what they've done. CJ Uzama, DJ Reed, a little bit too much money for Tyler Conklin, but you also got uh, CJ Uzama, I mentioned him. Lincoln Tomlinson, Jordan Whitehead, Jacob Martin, they got better on this team. Now, the safety swap, probably a bit of a downgrade. We'll see how they feel about George Phantom, Akai Becton with Morgan Moses gone. You kept Braxton Berrios, not they have any key internal guys. I like what the Jets have done. The Eagles have been very quiet because they don't have very many free agents, but Hassan Reddick is a top five guy for me. I love it. Zach Pascal, cool. Kept Anthony Harris. They're going to win the draft with three first-round picks. So average free agency, or I should say above average free agency, cool. All right, the Steelers, Miles Jack, James Daniels. I love those moves. 
Mason Cole was okay. So was Levi Wallace. I thought they overpaid for Chuck Sakura for. I like bringing back Keller Witherspoon. Oh, and Mitch Trubisky also on the roster. It's been a good offseason for the Steelers. Not quite great. The Niners. Mm, this is not, it's not great. D minus. Uh, your big addition was George Odom? Hassan Ridgeway? I mean, many fans will go, who? You lost two starters in Lincoln Tomlinson and DJ Jones, and you haven't found a Jimmy G trade partner yet. That's not ideal in the end. All right, Seattle. I also don't like it. Uh, I thought overpaid for Yuchenna Nwosu. You lost DJ Reed. Oh, and Russell uh, Wilson, Carlos Dunlap, Bobby Wagner. You got worse significantly if you're Seattle. That relationship between Russ and Seattle was dead. It was over. But Seattle in a, in a, in a rebuilding phase, yeah, it's going to be tough to win in free agency. So what has been your favorite free agency signing so far? Let me know down in the comments section right now. Tampa, I give them an A. Now, it certainly helped that they got back Tom Brady after he retired, then returned. I loved the Shaq Mason trade, as we talked about earlier. A fifth for a better guard than Alex Kappa? Bucks keep winning. Plus, by the way, you re-signed Chris Godwin, you re-signed Ryan Jensen, and Carlton Davis, and Brashad Perryman. They've got all of the receivers. Yeah, you lost two of your guards. You upgraded at safety going from Logan Ryan or from Whitehead to, to Logan Ryan. At least stayed flat there. I love what the Bucks have done. All right, the Titans. Good offseason so far. I love the trade for Robert Woods. I like getting Austin Hooper. Offensive line, especially beyond re-signing Ben Jones, is your big-time red flag there. I actually like the Harold Landry re-signing as well. So it's been a good offseason for Tennessee. And now for a bad one. I almost flunked them. The Commanders. You got worse at guard. You could make a real argument that Brandon Scherf, Eric Flowers are both better than Andrew Norwell. But for money, probably he's second on that list there. You, law, you cut Matt Iadonis and pissed off his agency in the process, by the way. You re-sign Bobby McCann. Good move. When your biggest move is trading for a QB, and then you still need a QB, that's bad. That's a bad offseason for the Commanders.